This is what a 200 pound gets you in terms of a Volvo S60. So let's have a look. So this is a 52 plate. Let's have a look at the engine bay. It's not too bad. It's a little bit on there. That's uh, probably where they filled it and uh, didn't take care because otherwise around there it's all nice and dry. So that's good. Right, let's have a look around the car and it's got gas trucks. So none of that fiddling about, you just press the button and it lifts. Fantastic. Let's have a look at it. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Nice, elegant car. 18 years down the line. Looks lovely. Of course, with a £200 car, you're going to get the oh, <laughs> little things like these dents. Rather oh, the big one there. But not through the paint, so you can probably use a suction thing and get it out. Really like the rear end there. Beautiful look, isn't it? Lovely design. Hasn't aged one bit. Aged well. Looks fresh. There's a dent on that rear door as well. Let's look at the size of the boot. This uh, obviously belonged to some car plumber, carpenter with all these screws. Uh, it's quite big and you've got the bit release, back seat release there. So for a bit of extra space, not too bad. Funny that's it. I was going to say funny thing it's grey here and then it's beige interior but obviously that's uh, practical because if you're going to put all stuff in there it's uh, going to get dirty quickly if it's beige. Let's look at the luxury interior. Look at that. Lovely sumptuous leather seats. Good quality seats. have worn well. Nice thick carpets obviously they need cleaning. Just picked it up and I'm just videoing it directly for you. Let's look at the interior on the driver's side. So it's done 147,000 miles and the seats have worn very well. Good quality lever. Good quality lever on the passenger side too. Let's have a look. The interior, the CD players here, the dashboard is kind of hard plastics. I'm not really a fan of this design but some people like it. Cup holders there. But the dash overall is nice, the way it looks. Nice, um, soft leather material, worn very well. Looks fantastic. All the electrics are working. The only thing not working on here, you can see there's a yellow warning triangle. I can't work out what that is because it's not showing on here. This is where the messaging will show, but it's not sure, um, I'm afraid the writing's gone, so I'm not sure why. Um, anyone know? Put a comment below on how I can fix that for free. Because obviously this is a junk car. Uh, I don't want to be spending any money on it. There's the mileage. Let's rev it. And when you're in the car, it's nice and quiet. Very nicely insulated in here auto dimming mirrors so lovely car nice luxury features fake wood so for 200 quid you can't really go wrong this is a lovely little thing isn't it if you want a little bit of luxury not bad at all super comfortable and importantly in the summer the AC works nice I've tried it by the way and even the radio there you go radio works so I'll do a quick test drive to end this uh, uh, video and I'll let you know in the description below if I manage to make anything on it or if I spot any uh, problems so hopefully it's not a total disaster okay here comes a little test drive take care so let's see how it goes it seems to pick up nice the steering is good it's not overly heavy, it's not overly light, so I think it's just got a nice uh, firm weighting to it. So, obviously, it's uh, now done 147,000 miles, so it's a bit uh, not as tight as it could be, but what do you expect? 
it's going in a straight line and the steering wheel straight so only thing I notice is, uh, as I'm driving now is that there's a slight little knocking sound from the back so that sounds like uh, the rear ball joints or bushes are worn other than that no thumping from the suspension it's quite good I'll give it some yeah it's pulling nicely um, if I'm being critical I think I can notice that the uh, changes I know these Volvos very well so the changes uh, in gear there when you're kicking down isn't as smooth so I suspect that there may be something amiss with the gearbox here it probably needs a service or it could be on its way out uh, but at this age and this value uh, I'm not gonna even bother spending the money because you know that's just it. Uh, but let's see I'm gonna drive it for a bit longer make sure I can uh, see what I try and identify what the issue is gonna check out the gearbox oil so if it's a bit brown then we know we can uh, at least try and try the cheap option of changing the uh, gearbox oil and hopefully that fixes it if it doesn't then uh, this is uh, going to be scrapped or the next buyer can just drive it for as long as it lasts and for this sort of money you can't really expect uh, nothing else this crazy guy in the BMW just went on the outside lane and then joined in there so let me put it into neutral reverse neutral drive oh there you go there so there's a little bit of a jolt when I put it into drive so yes my initial uh, thoughts are correct so this will probably need some sort of servicing or attention to the gearbox so that's what you get for a uh, hundred pound two hundred pound uh, Volvo S60 lovely luxury it still drives really nice and uh, steering is good super comfortable for the long journeys and all that but that's the risk you get um, the auto boxes can be a bit fragile so you just need to keep an eye out on those but this doesn't seem too bad I suspect I just need to change the oil and it'll be fine um, because going through at speed it seems to go through the gears fine it's just a little bit sluggish there's no big uh, thumping or shaking going on so hopefully it's that if it's not 200 pound you know scrap value is about 180 so you're not going to lose anything out of that it's worth just uh, pottering about in this light, nice little luxury wagon okay everyone hope that helped make sure you like and subscribe